Hey everybody. Carmen Jesus with you. Welcome. Uh, day three of the Houston show. I mean, I basically just shut this place down with uh, awesomeness. It is time to do the Bowman Hobby 2016 half case. UIT number 777. Come this way. How you doing, Bourbon Jack? Where's my trash box? Yeah, coach, what's That makes sense. What's up, Yankee fan? Uh, in Houston. Houston, Oklahoma. What is RC stand? Rip City. I didn't, shouldn't it be RCC? Well, I didn't want anybody stealing it, so I was... Yeah. Anybody that would steal it would put... You see that RC on there. They were like, uh oh <laughs> We ain't messing with that, dude. We, uh... Well, I, I don't know why I say we. I... At the TriStar Show in Houston. Um, lovely, a lot of fun things going on. A lot of athletes going on. Um, I think even like if you want to you know, check in with the uh, Jaspie's Hobbyland in a little bit, they're gonna have like some uh, some football player type person, maybe breaking some cards with them. So where are you guys uh, watching the finals tonight? I will not be watching the finals tonight, just in case anybody cares. I will be uh, playing mini miniature golf tonight. As I got embarrassed by the uh, West Coast crew, uh, Nick and uh, Joe hustled me. We were playing $100 a hole. The first two holes, like, you know, everything fine. Then all of a sudden, the two of them, it's like two, one, one, two, one. Robles um, chrome. I don't know, I'm actually going to be on my own in uh, in Houston tonight. That is a refractor. Wander Javier. For the Twins. Uh, top 100, Carson Fulmer. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I may treat it much like, uh, much like I did Japan and just... Uh, Go the hell around, see what I can find, what kind of trouble. Because I got I got barbecue last night, but it was the worst barbecue that I've ever had in my entire life. Brian Johnson uh, Scouts. This place did not even have. Um, did not even have forks to eat with. No forks. I'm not kidding. 
Nate Smith Auto for the Angels. Is Nate Smith not good, Dylan? I'm afraid I don't know a whole lot about him. International Inc. to Bears. I just got a little bit scared here because, like, uh, <laughs> there's like a like Houston police, I guess, like volunteer here instead of getting paid like for security. But in exchange for doing like the volunteer time, they get like free autos, you know, with like some players or whatever. So this guy is like squatted down, you know, like talking to me about stuff. He's into basketball and we're talking like high end basketball and you know, exquisite national treasures, flawless stuff like this. And then all of a sudden I got I am getting into this, I gotta open, you know, stuff up here. And I gotta pull the liberator out to uh, cut boxes. I'm afraid that he's gonna like try and jump over the desk, uh, stop me, and I get then I gotta kill a dude in Houston. Ozzy Alves, purple paper, Braves, that is fitting. And I have to I have to apologize for uh, for yesterday, folks. The show closed at five yesterday. Chris Shaw, gray paper for the Giants. And like the day before, like they were kind of, I mean, they weren't like, I mean, they were by no means like mean about it, but like, you know, everybody else, uh, security and stuff got to get out of here. So they were kind of like getting to us like, guys, you got to clean up, you know, get your stuff out. So yesterday I was going to try and do it a little bit, you know, try and get my stuff together, you know, get off right at five. Fernando Thais Jr. So, like, I don't, I usually don't wear my watch when I'm, like, on the laptop because it, like, scratches up the thing when I'm typing. Well, so I was just looking at the, at the time on the computer. Well, the time on my computer, I thought just adjusted automatically to whatever time you time zone you were in, like based on you know whatever internet magic that is. So I was trying to like haul ass and get it done yesterday, even though it was like just after four o'clock when I got off. So I felt like a complete a hole for doing that. Hey, for the Cubs, first Bowman Auto, Corey Black. The first Bowman card, Corey Black, Blue Refractor. Man, I'm sorry. That's okay. We did have a uh, laser beam. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Turn two for the A's. Hey, a nice little gray for the Astros, Jose, Jose Altuve. Please, I mean, please quit laughing so hard at my jokes and my and my interesting story story type anecdotes. So we're we're gonna hold the hold the bottles. What's up, Chris G? How you doing?
Would anyone like me to pick them up a Chris Fedorowicz uh, autograph 8x10? Because I saw a guy had, had some for sale uh, over there. Anybody have a platinum ticket for Jalen Strong? If you do, you're probably going to want to go ahead and get over to the uh, TriStar Autograph Pavilion now. Get over there now. All right, where is me orange hotness? I'm just going to put this flaws case right here if you don't mind. I, no, I hope it doesn't get lost. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal something. Something important. Hayes twins. She didn't want to break Bowman with Cowboys legend Larry, Larry Brown. Larry Brown's a basketball coach, asshole. No, what's, yeah. wrong, what's wrong with you? Good morning, guys. Welcome to the TriStar Talks. Sunday here at the show. You guys come in these chairs? We do. AJ Reed refractor. Holy hell. Astros have been hitting hard. I see a Lombardi trophy over there, man. Got a Lombardi trophy looking good here. Alex Jackson. Larry Brown is speaking right now. Talking too much because I'm trying to do some work here. And I feel I feel bad for this bastard dude. I mean, take a That's the only. That's the. Those are the only people waiting for uh, for Larry Brown. Jan uh, Juan Yepes, great paper. He will be breaking with uh, the Jaspies a little bit later. Vargas International League. If uh, if you want to check that out. What's up, Jericho? How you doing? Blake Snell. Once you retire, you appreciate the award when you're playing. You just want to win the game. You know, you're not thinking about personal plays. For the Bravo. Once you retire, it's nice. Off the field and on the floor. Hector Oliveira. Oh, ho! How can I even do my job right now? How are you doing, Jericho? Oh, I have a, I have something funny to tell you all later. Very fortunate, you know. It's, uh, 
You don't know what it means until it's open. And uh, your first one is always special. Blue Chris Sale. He, he is like sucking the hell out of uh, everything, isn't he? Bragman. Three times. You know, I know guys who went to go over there. Uh, can I pack up that paper base for you, sir? Pack up these paper base and magnetics, all of them. <laughs> yes, let me get let me get one touch just for all of that paper base for you, sir. Turn to yesterday was like I mean a, there was like some people here. Green shimmer, Colby Alar. But dude, the hours have been like kind of weird for this. Like Friday, which like basically everybody was setting up, was open until eight. Saturday, like when things like I would think would have been busy, you know, was like only open like nine to five. Like that day, I would have stayed open until you know. Eight or ten or something. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I know now exactly why they weren't open. Late. Question was, did everybody have a question? Which Super Bowl did I enjoy winning the most? I would say what is, uh, the first one. And, what's this? Uh, the first one is always what is the this? most memorable because your first one. But uh, we had to go to the game and play a great 49 and 2. And when you look at the box, player for player, I don't know if there's ever been a greater matchup. Troy and Steve Young, I know Irvin, Jerry Rice, Rick Jones, Jay Novich, you know, Ronnie Lott, Gary Woods. I mean, just across the board, those matchups were insane. And to go to Tampa and, and to win that one. And then I'm from Los Angeles, so to go home, Rose Bowl. And my favorite artist all the time is Michael Jackson. He didn't have time to show up. So to go to beat the 49ers, to go to the Rose Bowl, to see Michael Jackson at halftime show. You know, we're trying to peek out and see Michael. So like, get back here, we got a game. So that was just, I what don't know. What are you doing? This is what I was going to do. Do you think you're watching the game? Well, Mike took so long. I to just lost my, all my uh, shit I'm here. Quick reminiscing. They had different parts of the stadium and showed some guy coming in. He didn't know where he was. So he was taking so long. They gave us like about five minutes, but it took him about 10 minutes to find out really where he was coming from the stadium. And then they gave us a little bit of 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 are you guys with me? Still, like there was like some, some hella weirdness just went down. Alright, that's like I lost like one of my He has a great question. What was our game for Jimmy Johnson? Jimmy did a great job, you know. We what we would do about four days before a game is go about two hours away from all the numbers. And so you can really focus on football. And I think, you know, obviously with Super Bowl, there's a lot of distraction. Tickets, friends, family. So it really helped us to get focused. To, we stayed about two hours away. We stayed in the city the first three or four days. But about four days prior to every game, we went away. And there was nothing out there but us to focus on football. And I think that really helped us get prepared and be ready for the football. Great question. What about a question for Yes. <laughs> How often do we have reunions? And when are they? Yes, you know. Sorry, I thought I had my. Uh, well, we're, all, uh, we're all soccer dancers. We all got kids. Earbuds. And all of our kids are in college or playing sports. Or, so we meet up in soccer dancers. You know, that's kind of our reunion. You know, we're all old. We can't do much. So uh, we haven't had a re official reunion for about four or about five years. We actually didn't have a reunion for us in all places in Chicago and Coach Johnson and, and that, and that was really fun. Uh, so they have not told us when the next official, but if you come to a soccer game in Dallas, I promise you're going to find a bunch of guys uh, that play soccer and beat it up every night. It's a great question. How about a couple more? I don't want to leave anybody sliding. Whatever, that's close to get. You raise your hand. He asked me the deepest coordinator. Wow, we had several. For our first Super Bowl, it was Dave Watson. Uh, then we had Butch Davis. And we had Dave Kennedy. So those are the three coordinators that, that 
I just that's said, softball, <laughs> he's like, oh, that's right. That's Come right. That's I, I don't like them. I, I truly believe Next question. That we would have, I didn't know this. Oh my God. Adrian Gonzalez. First that is purple. It is paper. It is not a 250. And that's all history. And never do that. So I think had they kept that team together. Did you tell anyone about your awful mini golfing last night? I was trying to, but then this started. Uh, and everybody's basically muted. Until oh, sure. this uh, finishes, I have a son that plays football, and um, I'm going to tell them that I can't I use a golf stick. Is the education? I'm not a. I'm not ashamed know, uh, of my shortcomings. The league is doing to teach the entire property tax, better coaching, all those things. So I, I believe the game is much safer. All the protocols for concussions. We played. There was no protocol. Dylan, don't even bother. I mean, I'm not even going to bother trying to talk over this uh, this guy. What's up, D&H Martin? How are you doing today? I should be charging you all for this Larry Brown interview. <laughs> Uh -huh. Those two gifts. See, so I always 
Star show, you know, but they're doing a uh, like an interview with uh, Larry Brown from the uh, yes, it is K Daisy. But because I have like some weirdness going on with with the monitor, I'm just gonna take all of the hits at the end since I'm keeping them together, and then just mark mark it all off at the end and give the balls away. Yeah, I mean I still have to do it for the first one that I forgot to do, but that one I may just end up doing in Miami. Since I'm taking all the balls, well, like the extra balls my with me. Story is a, uh, I know, right? It's a story by itself. So when I was a rookie, I'm I so overwhelmed. So everything can get more systems. <laughs> so my third candidate he said, look, you're not a receiver. You don't have to catch the ball here. Just catch it. You don't have to use your hand. Just catch the football. So I stepped trying to catch the ball. It's hard for a ball. I started buying them, and my interception count went up every year. So I got a nickname from Emma Smith, and my brother gave me the best advice. You, you don't have to catch it with your hands, you're not a receiver. Just catch the ball. And that's what I did. So it helped me out. So I got to give my brother a lot of credit. No, no, Emma was really bad. Emma was really bad. You guys know he was bad. So I can't wear those outfits. Yeah, I can't wear those outfits. I am not wearing those damn. It's a great show. They did not. I assume they did because I am so important. What? Oh, look at that. Say it again. Tax of the guards. Let's do it. Let's do it. When we get everybody, nobody is going to be able to get in there. I'm going to Uh, orange paper. Uh, Manny Sanchez refractor. I think Larry Brown may be headed this way, folks. Everybody start losing their shit right quick. Jorge Alfaro, a purple. Excellent, Dylan. Good job. I mean, I said get ready. Get ready. You know, don't do it just yet. Don't do it just yet. That's true. I mean, I, listen, when, when I give you that kind of excitement, what, what do I expect you to do, you know? I mean, I can, I can only contain myself because I'm a goddamn professional. Kyle Servance Jr. Sweet mother of mercy.
Yes. Tanaka. You say Hey, not a bad one for the raw hairs. Brendan Rogers auto for the Rockies. Well, K Dacey since uh since you're empty, look at Scum doing it, doing what he do. Look at that. I don't know who that is. Toke Nasty is back there. <laughs> the uh, Cash Nasty Laser Beam is here today. Cookie Boy in the house. I couldn't even speak words to Cookie. I was in such such awe. Such awe. Scomo doing what he do. Doing what he do. Desperately need to pull a super fractor right when he is doing stuff with them so that I can just like lose my mind over a card that is far more important than anything that they will they will ever have or ever see. There are a shockingly large number of Houston Astro fans here. A shockingly large number. Okay, since it's a little bit quieter now. <laughs> yesterday, after uh, after the very very shitty barbecue that we had, um, me and Joe and Nick went to play mini golf. So we go pay for the uh, mini golf. The lady gives us her balls. Then she tells us, "Go get your." Go get your golf sticks around the corner. Your golf sticks are around the corner. Now I got, I lost. To be honest, I lost bad. Nick, move your big ass so I can get in on your get in on your stream. So there's people watching the stream right now. You I'm looking on this. This is the real deal, folks. Yeah, pull it out. He'll show it to the camera real quick. The hot dog rolls were not next to the golf sticks. That was the other side of the place. All right, we have our own business here. So I'm.
I'm going to practice basically every day until, you know, until the national when there will be the second uh, Putt-Putt Invitational. What they don't know is that I'm in, I'm in for the long game. Chris Shaw, Refractor. Gavin Sassini. <laughs> the hot dog rolls. I had almost forgotten about the hot dog rolls. Oh, this, this half is not looking good. I may have to quit uh, quit breaking soon after this. Bradley Lale for the New Yorks. Get you two, lay two balls thank you, thank you. right in your hands. Put them right in your hands. Jorge Mateo. Mark Melancone, herb or blue. some kids to give this base away to, or old men who uh, who want me to take uh, take the paper base to their car for them. You know, I kind of think that I could do the uh, like the show circuit. I mean, I do know a little bit better than most how to handle. Proper setup. I could educate the masses. So many breaks. And handle the awesomeness. Because 
Because there's honestly not even a sign, not uh, anything that gives any even partial indication of what we are doing here. We're just uh, a couple of dudes doing jack. I basically need to take charge of this whole this whole deal. I'll take that. Bring this Randolph. to put some big balls on you to uh, make up for this hot holy mess. I am on just on a cold streak except for like a couple of hot boxes of NT basketball. Steven Matt sophomore standout. And I gotta say, it is super nice that uh, Nick and uh, Joe kind of have each other to help David Dennison. They can kind of tag team it, keep it all like smooth, running nice. Elsie Greenwood. Elsie Greenwood. I don't know. I mean, they may be like friends with benefits. I mean, I kind of, you know, what you what you do in that situation is uh, is your business, you know, to me. Matthias Green Shimmer for the uh, Royals. John Davis, bro. First round draft pick for the All right, now let's uh, figure out who went hitless. Let's give some uh, balls away. The refractors do not hit, but I try and keep them together so that they, uh... Okay. Phillies. You know what? I think I might be able to sort this. Hey, I can. See? This is what happens when everybody buys all the teams. I can sort it and do it like relatively easy. The Rockies. The Red Sox. The Braves. The Angels. 
is. And the Royals. Diamondbacks. Uh, Alright, not counting the grays, not counting the refractors. Pirates, grays, doesn't count. Refractors don't count, grays don't count. Angels already off the board. Phillies already off the board. Refractor. Rangers. Dodgers. Phillies already off the board. Refractors don't count. Braves already off the board. White Sox. Is it is it Chris Sale that is like having like the most disastrous start like in almost anybody's uh, career ever? Cubs. And Braves already off the board. Okay, so that's we got a lot of people still in this thing. Seventeen teams. That's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, I probably do need. I mean, I have the uh, the super platinum. Wait, I said 16. Super platinum. Uh, super platinum uh, ticket for James Shields. All right, thanks, everybody. That was so fast. Oh, that hasn't done so well already. It's at 17, right? It's at 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how are you, Chris Fitz? What's all the fuss about true randomness? <laughs> oh, well, there is a lot of fuss, Johnny. Um, it's uh, making sure that your squads are going to be all, all up in him. All right. This I can close. You know, I'm here. I'm here doing my thing. The show's like kind of slow. I mean, all right, let's uh, come over this way. I'm gonna roll this for uh, for the random deal. Seven. Yeah, it could be. Whoa, here we are. All right.
right, seven times. Top three get balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the money shot. Okay, Daisy. All three balls. All three balls. What's that, Big Hebs? Balls are right here. A few balls, well, another ball. Yes. Let me. Nick, you have a second, I need a favor. Some randoms in the store. Uh, ten spots. Um, tech could be uh, interesting. Well, he, he'll do. He'll do what I tell him to do. Um, some basketball, which I am thoroughly shocked that uh, nobody had any interest in. Seven left in the tech, 27 left in the basketball mixer. If nobody wants into the mixer, I mean, I can do the basketball uh, individually, the tech, the same thing. If that's uh, not going anywhere, I've got half a case of, well, really an entire case of, no, it's half a case of tech. We can do personals. I mean, because the only thing I have now is Tech Supreme. Um, 12, 13 Limited, and t -Sir. What's up, DJ KB? You at work already? This guy? Were you, were, were you, A. Warner took a piece like, dude, the checkered shirt was moonwalking and stunned the background. I was. You were moonwalking? I was. You, are, are you light on your feet, sir? I was, I was jamming. I was, uh, <laughs> I'm glad somebody noticed. Yes, I, I, well, I guess not sadly, because uh, this is what I do. I'm working now. Houston show, it's awesome. It's, I mean, just the amount of people here is, I mean, it's, I almost can't even think there's like so much happening right now. Um, or there's, in my view, that are not vendors to Five. Yeah, the Seven. Hang on, I am still still recording this. What's up, Hockey Con? Tech Supreme 
1213 Limited, 1213 T-Cert. Anybody interested in, the, in those items? Because that is what I have right here, right now, available to uh, get jiggy with, as it, as it were. Oh, I got a case of Tier 1, too. I completely forgot about that. I, I brought a... Uh, an extra case of tier one with me. If anybody just wants to uh, buy all that out, what do you think? I have still not given away my. Uh, CBJ snacks that at this point I believe may not be given away. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna offer these up at some point. It's a one-on-one -on -one mini pretzel CBJ snacks mug. Not moving quick, quite as a. Uh, quickly as I'd hoped. There are also a lot of people here that are fatter than I am, which I don't know, I, I, I'm still undecided.